Midsummer in the Chilean Atacama Desert. As night falls, telescopes at ESO's observatories are just starting the night's observations. But all of a sudden, a strange phenomenon appears in the distance. What could this be? Let's take a closer look. It's the 20th of January, 2015, and ESO photo ambassador Petra Horaulek is capturing the beauty of the Milky Way at the La Cire Observatory. Suddenly, a series of short-lived flashes of red light appear out of nowhere above the horizon. hundred kilometers away from La Silla, at the same time, a cluster of massive thunderstorms is raging over northern Argentina. Pointing his camera in the direction of the flashes, Petra photographs the very rare and peculiar features known as red sprites. This makes him one of a small group of people to successfully record them. And it's the first time that they have been captured from a major astronomical observatory. A week later, Petra travels further north to photograph the night skies above ESO's Paranal Observatory. Just a few hours before daybreak, he once again witnesses a flurry of these strange flashes over the Andes. From Petra's perspective, they appear to come from the direction of the rising galactic bulge of the Milky Way. They actually originate from another huge complex of storms over Argentina, more than 600 kilometers from Paranal. The storms are so strong that Petra can observe and document another display of their activity. High in the atmosphere, Gravity waves are generated by these storms and form ripples in the greenish layer of airglow. But what are these curious airy spirits? In thunderstorms, most cloud to ground discharges are called negative lightning as they transfer negative charges to the ground. Barely 5% of all discharges are positive cloud-to-ground lightning, transferring positive charges from the thundercloud to the ground. Up to 10 times more energetic than negative lightning, positive lightning seems to be what makes the Earth's atmosphere a playground for red sprites. Red sprites are a manifestation of complex high-altitude electrical processes. They appear dancing in the dark night skies as red figures composed of beads, puffs, and tendrils of light. These unusual flashes are formed at altitudes of up to 90 kilometers and get their distinct red hue from the excited nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere. Red sprites were first suggested on theoretical grounds in 1925 by the Scottish physicist Charles Wilson. But it wasn't until 1989 that scientists from the University of Minnesota managed to capture the first image of a sprite on film as they were photographing aurorae. And just a few years later, the NASA Compton Gamma Ray Observatory managed to discover gamma bursts originating above thunderstorms, another consequence of lower atmospheric lightning activity. Astronauts have a particularly good vantage point from space and have also photographed sprites using normal digital cameras. From space, sprites appear shortly after their corresponding lightning strike. In this image taken from space, both the sprite and the lightning flash are captured. But similar phenomena could occur on other planets in the solar system. Red sprites might be the most frequently photographed upper atmospheric lightning phenomena on Earth, but they can appear rather dim when captured on camera. Furthermore, the exact time and location of their appearance in the sky is quite unpredictable. They have been found to show up over powerful and large thunderstorms, but only for a fraction of a second. These factors make them very hard to document and study. Red sprites remain mysterious, 
and any new image showing them is valuable to scientists trying to study these elusive spirits that dance above thunderstorms. And now ESO has also contributed a small piece to this intriguing puzzle in the Earth's An atmosphere. An exoplanet orbiting a star that entered our Milky Way from another galaxy has been detected by a European team of astronomers. The Jupiter-like planet is particularly unusual as it is orbiting a star nearing the end of its life and could be about to be engulfed by it, giving tantalizing clues about the fate of our own planetary system in the distant future. Astronomers have detected nearly 500 planets orbiting stars in our cosmic neighborhood. But none outside our, however, Milky Way has a been planet confirmed. weighing at least 1.25 times as much as Jupiter has been discovered orbiting a star of extragalactic origin, even though the star now finds itself within our own galaxy. The star, which is known as HIP 13044, lies about 2,000 light years from Earth and is part of the so called Helmi stream. This stream of stars originally belonged to a dwarf galaxy which was devoured by our Milky Way in an act of galactic cannibalism six Astronomers nine detected the planet ago. by looking for tiny telltale wobbles of the star caused by the gravitational tug of an orbiting companion. For these precise observations, the team used a high-resolution spectrograph called Pharos attached to the 2.2-meter telescope at ESO's La Silla Observatory in Chile. The planet HIP 13044b is also one of the few exoplanets known to have survived its host star massively growing in size after exhausting the hydrogen fuel supply in its core, i.e. the red giant phase of 13044b is near to its host HIP. star. At the closest point in its elliptical orbit, it is less than one stellar diameter from the surface of the star, or only about 0.055 times the Sun-Earth distance and it completes an orbit in only about 16 days. The astronomers hypothesize that the planet's orbit might initially have been much larger, but that it moved inwards during the red giant phase. Any closer-in planets may not have been so lucky. Astronomers suggest that some inner planets may have been swallowed by the star during its red giant phase. Although the Jupiter-like exoplanet has escaped the fate again in, in the next so stage far, of its evolution, the star will when this happens, the star may engulf the planet, meaning it may be doomed after all. The astronomers are now searching for more planets around stars near the end of their lives. Their work may tell us about the distant fate of the planets in our own solar system, as the Sun is also expected to become a red giant in about 5 billion years.